Hello everyone, this is Tarun Sharma. I'm the uh, National Head for the Global Career Counseling Certification course. So today we're going to talk about different topics about career counseling, importance, benefits, and the career opportunities. And also about the course itself, that how important it is, this course is, and how important this certification is. Okay. So shall we start? As I can see, there are a lot of people on uh, chat as well. Hi, everyone. Good evening. So let's start. So let's start with career counseling. What are the uh, wh what is career counseling actually? So career counseling is all about counseling a student or a professional about his career path, about taking a de decision in his life, about his career, about further studies. Okay, so what is all about career counseling is that when we guide a student or a professional we're going to talk about different aspects about this program and about career counseling benefits importance and career opportunities so let me start with the career counseling what is career counseling so career counseling is a career development is a long life lifelong process that whether you know it or not actually it started when you were born there are a number of factors that influence your career development including your interests, abilities, values, personality, and background and circumstances. Career counseling is a process that will help you to know and understand yourself and the world of work in order to make your career educational and life decisions. Career development is more than just deciding on a major, but and what job you want. So see, the career development is more focused towards the job and the career path which you want post your graduation. It really is a lifelong process, meaning that throughout your life you will change. Okay, there will be situation where you have to change. You will be continuously changing, evolving in your career and life decisions. The goal of career counseling is not only help you to make a decision you need to make now, but to give you the knowledge and skills you need to make your future career decisions. So it is all about career counseling that what is career counseling actually so if i talk about what i can expect from career counseling is that help you figure out who you are what you want out of your education your career and your life be someone for you to talk to about your thoughts ideas feelings concerns about your career and educational choices who will help you out to sort out these things, organize and make you make a sense of your thoughts or end feelings. Here, a career counsel will help you a lot. So, and if we move further with the with what we can expect from a career counselor or from a counseling session, is to help you identify the factors influencing your career development and help you assess your interests and passion. Suppose I am a student. Okay, I have a, a in, I have interest in engineering, but I'm passionate about music. What I can do, I can be I can do acoustic engineering. I can uh, create sounds from different uh, things from drop, water droplets. I can work on EDMs. So you must you all might be aware about EDMs where we create sounds from different objects from electricity from water droplets from wind. And other objects so this is the way i can pursue my career as per my interest and as per my passion because i am passionate about music but i do have interest in engineering as well that's the reason accosting engineering idioms this is my thing this is i can do but 15 years back if i had to think about it that i want to do engineering am i passionate passion passionate about music as well i cannot pursue my career in accosting engineering because i was not i was not sure about it no one told me, even not in my family or my friends or my relatives. They were working in some organization where they can use their uh, music as a skill. So they all I heard about is engineering will be the best option to get a good job in an MNC or a corporate company. But are you really sure that engineering will lend you in a good company? Because in current situation, there are 15 lakh students who are graduating from engineering colleges every year and the, and you can see the the ratio of unemployment right now for engineers there are a lot of companies who are laying out people okay there are a lot of 
students who are taking engineering as their uh, career option, but what they are doing, they're dropping out within a year or two years or three years. They're, they are not even completing their engineering. There are students who are completing engineering within six years because they are not passionate about it. It's just their family, their friends, their relatives were passionate about engineering and they wanted their children to follow the same trend. So it shouldn't happen now. There are a lot of other streams available in market apart from engineering, medicine, MBA. So if I talk about language, people can take language as a course. So you might be knowing about Mandarin. In China, people use Mandarin as a language. So they have their own calendars, their own keyboards, their own uh, computer language. So they need a language coder for that to convert English into Mandarin. Okay, so it is really important to opt for different careers, different career options, different career paths, different streams, which will help you a lot. And it should be related to your interest and your passion. It should add value to whatever you do. So it is really important for a student to take a correct decision at this moment. Because if he has done his 12th, he is out from school, he cannot decide what he has to do in next 10 years of his life. So that's the reason we need a career counselor to guide him, to assess him based on his abilities, based on his skills, based on his interest and passion. And then he can further pursue with his own dreams and have a fruitful career post that, post his graduation, post graduation or PhD. Okay. So also there are a lot of things which we can expect from a career counselor or a, from a counseling session. We also help you with to locate resources and sources of career options or career information. So they will help you with the uh, universities criteria to get an admission in a university in India and abroad about visa procedures, about different exams which are involved. So they will talk about a lot of things. They will talk about career information, not just about career, but also about the information part where they'll give you the complete information about how to get an admission in India or abroad. And what will, which will be the best universities for you and what, which will be the best streams available in those universities, which you can offer. for. So this way they are making a plan. They're, they're making a plan for you. They're the, your career path that you can plan accordingly. You can go forward step by step, not just jump to a conclusion that I want to do engineering or medicine. What happens if you do engineering? And you don't get a good job. Who will be responsible? You, you just heard your friend uh, saying that uh, my brother is working in uh, TCS. He is a developer, software developer. Do you really think by pursuing engineering, you can be, you can become a software developer until unless you are passionate about computers or languages, programming languages. You should have that kind of interest so that you can pursue a career where it will be fruitful. So now. Let's talk about the career opportunities, which we have as a counselor. So if I talk about a person who is not working right now, who is a graduate, so they can take up this course post the completion. They get certification from the UCL extension, which is the University of California, Los Angeles. They get, they get the certification from that university and which is globally valid, not in just in India, but globally valid. They can even validate that certificate. They just need their student number, the enrollment number, and then they can mail the same thing to the university to validate their certificates because it happens in abroad. Whenever you apply in some uh, university or a school or an organization abroad in overseas, so they, they will validate your certificates for validation. They need to get in touch with the UCL extension through emails. Okay. So if I talk about a person who has done his graduation, he is a fresher. He can take up the course, maybe post that he can work as a freelancer. So working as a freelancer is like, maybe uh, you just want to work for a couple of hours, maybe five to six hours in a day. And what you can earn from that is like minimum 2000, 5000 rupees per session for a domestic counseling. Suppose I'm a student, I want counseling. I'm studying in grade 10. So you can charge minimum 2000 to 5000 rupees from that particular student or parent for a single counseling session. So if I'm a student who is in grade 12, and I want admission in university, university overseas. So I 
I have what I have to do is I'll charge between sixty thousand to one lakh rupees for an international counselling, but that will be a year long counselling, end to end, starting from the uh, first point to the admission. So I'll talk about the visa procedures, exams. Suppose I I have to take admission in Canada, so I have to give an exam. It can be IELTS, it can be TOEFL. Okay, I need to validate my certificates as well. I need a recommend lesson, recommended recommendation letter from my teacher as well. And what is the minimum criteria of a university of a college? What they are looking at apart from academic scores, because there are certain activities which are involved when we take an admission in overseas universities and colleges. So they have a criteria apart from academic score. You should do certain set of activities in a year or in an academic year to get an admission in that particular university or college. So they. The、so、counselor can help a student to get an admission abroad and in, in India. So for this international ses- session, you can charge between sixty thousand to one lakh rupees, depending on the student and the school where he is studying right now. Okay, and also depending on the country or college or university where he wants to apply. So that is for the people who have done their graduation; they want to work as a freelancer, and even a a a, a female who is a housewife. She can pursue the course, and she can work as a freelancer as well. She can guide students, their own children. They can guide their own children, or their children, their family, or children, their neighborhood. And minimum what they can charge is two thousand to five thousand rupees per session. And even for the international counseling, they can charge the same thing: sixty thousand to one lakh rupees for international counseling, and that to a year-long counseling. So, this is really important when you're looking at freelancing. Because you have done the course, you have got the globally recognized certificate, and then you can market the same that you are a globally certified counselor who can counsel students, and you are certified in the same, and you know all about counseling, all about the education system, all about the curr- different curriculums available in India and abroad. If I talk about IB, Cambridge, CBSC, ICSC, State Board, you know all about it, all about the grading, grading system as well. And what else a freelancer can do? They can also tie up with universities, colleges, or schools, and work as a freelancer there as well. They can spend few hours with parents and teachers, parents, students, and teachers, and counsel students for their career options. They can have a practical approach towards students, a career-oriented approach. So they, this is the way where they can earn even more because they are tying up, tying up with a school to do counseling for their own students. And if I talk about universities and colleges, so what they can do is they can be a place they can be the placement officers, freelancers. So I'm a student. I want to have、uh, do further studies. I want to work abroad or overseas. So at that time, this the placement officer will help a student or guide the student. With the visa procedures, how to apply in different universities abroad, how to apply for visa, what will be the exam, so they can follow the same procedure for what they follow in the international council as a placement officer. But they can work in universities and colleges. So, career counselors can work in schools, universities, colleges as a freelancer, even full time if they want to. So this course is available for anyone who want to pursue their、uh, career in education space. So suppose a person is, so if I talk about a person who is not working anywhere, or he is working as an HR, so even they can take up the course because this course involves counseling and how to use psychometric test and techniques to counsel a student. So nowadays there are a lot of、uh, big companies, MNCs and corporate companies who are using psychometric test as a tool. To judge、uh, interest and passion of a candidate who, who came for an interview, so a person came for an interview, they'll give him a psychometric test to fill, and then post the、uh, post whatever results they get. Based on that, they will be conducting the further rounds of rounds of interview because they don't want a person to work in their organization who is least bothered or not interested or not passionate about that work. So they don't want a person sh- who should be doing the nine to six job. They want a person who should who loves his job, who is passionate about working on the product. So they want that kind of candidates. 
Because as a reason, HRs are using these tools and techniques and tests to uh, judge a candidate. Okay. So if I talk about the uh, principles, why principles should take up this course? Principles can take up this course because it is really important for them. So when a parent and a student is meeting a principal, so they have certain expectations. They they think that the principal knows everything about the uh, everything about the career options, counseling skills, about each and every aspect about industry, education industry. So they have certain expectations from the principal that if we are asking something to the principal, he knows, he'll help us. Even the principal, even the principal is at a certain level that he should know everything. He should hold a international, internationally recognized certification and should have that kind of knowledge where they can satisfy all the questions, all the queries of a parent, whether it's related to the admissions, colleges, streams, best subject. Okay. So he should be able to guide that particular parent or a student. So that's the reason it is important for principal as well, that they should do this course. They should gain enough of the knowledge information from this course. They, then they can guide the parents and students as well and enhance their current information, current knowledge base as well. Okay. So if I talk about teachers, so why teachers should take up this course? Because see, it is important for teachers as well, because teachers are spending hours, a lot of like, so much hours with students, so much time with students. They are always interacting with students. So suppose uh, there's a history teacher. Why she should take counseling of course? Why she should do counseling? It is important for her because she, she is spending a lot of time with the students. She spends hour in a day with students talking about the history subject. It's more theoretical, but when she does the course, she, she is doing the course, she has completed the course, she is certified, she knows in and out about the career options, about industry, about different colleges and universities, about different procedures, different tests and techniques. So she can have a like career oriented approach towards student. She can have a practical approach, not just theoretical. She can have a practical approach. She can talk to students about different options. If I'm teaching history, so what options are available in uh, industry? which are related to history, architecture, archaeology. So these are related to history. So th she is able to connect with students. If some, if the, if her student is asking something about uh, a career option or about post graduation or graduation in the same subject, but she can guide that particular student in the right path that you can do this. And it will help you to get a good job or good career out of it or good future out of it. Then the teacher is able to relate with the topics which she is teaching in the class. So every teacher can take up the same course. Even the mathematics teacher can take up the course. They can do the counseling. They can relate it to the career options, to the future option, to the graduation, undergraduates, graduates and post graduation. They can relate. So if a mathematics teacher is talking about correct options in her class, how will, how will she relate it to? So if I'm talking about uh, algebra, so how it is related? So it is related. If we can talk about uh, architecture, we need to do certain me measurements there in architecture. So that's the reason I'm able to relate maths to architecture as a career option for students. So see, for teachers it's important and it is even important for the career counselors who are currently doing counseling. It is really important because career counselors, what they do is that they are doing the counseling, but they are not certified. They are not able to grow in their career. Okay. So they, they are doing current counseling in a particular school, but what about the promotions? What about to have a higher pay scale? What about working in a good school? or in a bigger school. So post doing this certification, they will have a certificate certificate added to their resume, their CVs. And also we provide a recommendation letter to certain candidates that uh, they have done the course. They are certified career counselor. They are globally recognized and they have done this 
course from UCL extension and university. So this recommendation letter helps them a lot because they either they can what they can do is they can apply in a progressive school, they can apply in a university or a college. But a progressive school, I'm talking about the progressive school. Suppose I'm I'm the one who who is a current counselor in a CBSC school. So if I have a certain passion that I need to work for an IB school or Cambridge school. So, but I have my graduation, I have everything, I have exposure, experience, but what is missing? The certification course from a recognized university, internationally recognized university, that's missing. So that's the reason we need an internationally recognized certificate for to add that this, add the same thing in our resume or CV. It will help us a lot to get us job in a progressive school, in a bigger IBM Cambridge school, where they can grow in their career, they can be a head counselor, they can be an assistant counselor, they can be the assistant director of counseling, they can be a director of counseling as well. So there are a lot of things which they can do post doing the course. And even if I talk about teachers, so I was talking about teachers as well, if they can also take up the course. So what they can do is they can also play a dual role in a school. They can be teachers, they can teach their subjects, and they can also do counseling during PTMs, parent teacher meetings, because they are meeting students and parents, and uh, they are talking about career options, they are talking about subjects, they are talking about marks. They can also talk about different activities which a student can do. Because apart from academic scores, there are activities which are also important for a student to get admissions. So they can talk about different activities and then they can plan out those activities in an academic year so that the student has that kind of exposure. And then they can pursue their career, they can go up on the same path and then they can offer a better option. So this, is, this was for teachers and career counselors who are already counseling students. So if I talk about uh, the people who are working as the directors or heads of some organization, so they can also take up the course. So it is really important for them because they are managing, they're into management and they are managing people. Even it is important for managers because they are also managing people. So counseling is really important because how can you counsel an employee or a professional? Okay, so how can you consider professional? So in this course, they have there are certain modules which will help you to become a counselor in your own organization where you can counsel your own employees. It can be behavioral counseling. It can be counseling about different uh, options in the same organization about different departments. Okay, so this is a way where the directors and CEOs can pursue this course because they are into management, they are managing people, they have to manage people all the time and even they have to counsel students. Yeah. So as I can see, there are a lot of people who uh, they are asking questions, they have some queries. So let's uh, start with uh, the answers. Okay. And I hope everyone is clear about the career options. And I just missed one thing in career option, they can also start with their own centers, career counseling centers, or even they can join overseas consultancies. Because overseas consultancies needs career counselors, certified career counselors to guide their candidates. If you, because they need someone who knows in and out about the visa procedures, about different countries, about different criteria, different eligibility criteria, about different visa, visa procedure, about admission procedures as well. So it is really important for them to be certified because they are working for an overseas consultancy. And <clears throat> if I talk about a center, they can open up their own center as well. So once they are certified, they can start with their own counseling center. They can hire people for their own centers. Okay. They can have their own website. They can use segment tests. They can use technologies to guide their students. They can use those suggestions to guide the student because how technology helps is that whenever we put some information, the student's information, that system, student or professional's information, in that system, it gives us suggestions based on the information we have entered in the system. So we use those suggestions 
to guide a student or guide a professional to a proper correct career path to have a proper career approach to live his dreams to work as per his ability skills and values and passion okay so this is all about the career opportunity which is available in market post doing this course post becoming a career counselor okay so i'll start with the uh, questions okay i'll just browse through all the questions okay so so as i can see sanjeevni singh so she wants to know about i want to do diploma in counseling see doing a diploma in counseling is a different thing and doing a certification course is a different thing so when you do the diploma in counseling so it's more like you're doing a kind of a graduation two year or three year diploma course is there for counseling but that is quite different you're getting a degree that you are a counselor but you're not recognized internationally or globally you need a globally recognized certification added to your resume that you are certified from ucl extension that you are a globally recognized glo career counselor and it is valid globally you can apply in india or abroad post doing this course you can do diploma you can do the career counseling certification course so if i talk about the other question which is from ritika kukreja is it valid before i complete my bachelor's yes it is valid okay so you can pursue this course you can do the certification it will be valid lifelong okay and it is valid globally and if i talk about the other question from mr nikhil rai what are the skills required for a career counselor so the basic skills which are required for a career counselor is that you should have a good communication skills you should be able to interact with a student you should be able to answer queries in a smarter way okay and once you have done this certification course you will get knowledge about k12 system so if i talk about k12 system it's about the grade 9 10th 11 and 12 students how to guide grade 9 10th 11th and 12th students what are the different curriculums ib cambridge cbc icsc state board what are the grading system in different curriculums what is the different visa procedures for different countries like uk us canada what how to use tech tools and techniques how to use psychometric test how to use that suggestion to guide a student and how to do counseling so everything is there in the course so once you do the course you will have that kind of skill set to counsel a student to become a career counselor so i would suggest you should do the course you should complete this course in time and be a certified counselor and then you will gain that kind of skill set to be a career counselor which is recognized globally not just in india okay i hope th that will be a perfect answer to your question okay so now let me start with the uh, course details so if i talk about the global career counseling certification course it is from university and ucl extension we have created this custom made program where six modules are from university nine modules are from ucl extension six modules are the technical modules it talks about the k12 system about different visa procedures different countries different uh, admission criteria about different curriculums in india and abroad about grading system okay and the next nine modules which are from ucl extension it talks about the counseling skills how to do counseling what is counseling how to do counseling what is counseling what are the different tools and techniques which you can use how to use a psychometric test how to do behavioral counseling so it talks about counseling post completion you get two certificates one is a green belt certification and one is a global career counselor certification from ucl extension it is completely an online course 40 hours self paced course whenever you have time you can access the course from your mobile phone or from your desktop you can complete the course within 6 months okay 6 months are for the uh, initial 6 modules 
and then three additional months are given for the next nine modules. So you have total nine months to complete the course. Okay. Post completion, your certificates are delivered to your address, which you have mentioned during the enrollment. Okay. And it will be completely online or there will be videos. There will be PDF material. PDF material which you can download or take a printout of it. Videos will always be there during the duration of nine months. Okay. You can go through the videos, PDF material, and after each module, there will be an assessment. After each module, there will be an assessment. For first six modules, you need to score 65% in each module, in each assessment. And for the rest nine modules, you'll, you need to score 100% in your assessment. Where for nine modules, you are given unlimited attempts to score 100%. Okay. So that's the thing that's the uh, modules of course and the certification part and if you if i if i talk about the authentic, authenticity of the program we you can check the the link on the ucl extension website about the partnership of university and ucl extension okay so if you want we can send across the link as well where you can check the collaboration with ucl extension okay let me check for more queries from uh, different candidates. I'll just browse through it. So we have a question from uh, Malika Mitra. So she's asking after completion of the course, what are the prospects of getting a job? So see, after you have completed the course, you have got your certified, you got your certificates. You have added the same thing in the resume. You can start applying for jobs in schools, colleges, or universities. You can also do freelancing. You can tie up with schools to do the freelancing, or you can do freelancing from your home. So let me let me tell you how you will get leads or how you will get students for counseling. So there are different groups on Facebook, where different educational groups, where you can find students and parents, or institutes or schools. You can post in those groups that you are the career counselor, you are a certified career counselor from UCL extension. Okay. And you can get leads from those post qualified leads. I'm talking about the qualified leads, call the students who are really interested to take counseling and you can do counseling from your home. So there's hardly any investment you can earn from the sessions, which can be between 2000, 5000 rupees per session. It can be either on call. It can be at your place. So you can do counseling from your home as a freelancer, or you can tie up with schools where you can counsel students of that particular school. Okay. And also what you can do is you can join a school or university or a college full time as a career counselor or so career counselor in a CBC school, CBC has made it mandate to have a career counselor in this school. So there should be one career counselor in each CBC school. Okay. So you can apply in CBC schools, IB schools, Cambridge schools as a career counselor because they really need it. And be like rest assured, they, we India needs a lot of career counselors right now because I'm talking about facts. In India, there are 350, 350 million students. Okay. There are 350 million students and we need at least 1.4 million career counselors to cater to their request. To service those students, we need 1.4 million career counselors. The ratio should be one is two to 50. One career counselor against 250 students. What what we have right now is one counselor against 3,000 students. So you can imagine one counselor, 3,000 students. What quality of counseling they will be providing to a student because they are, they are already engaging with 3,000 students. So these are the facts which are done by a survey, which, which is from a survey which was done by India today. So there are 350 million students, 1.4 million counselors are required. If I talk about the school to student counselor ratio, which is one to 3000, it should be one to 250, which is required actually. So we need career counselors, schools need career counselors, parents need career counselors because the students are really confused about their career. 
they are really confused they, they have no idea what, which stream they should select they don't want to go for engineering they don't want to go for medicine not llb not mba what they want to do they want to pursue their career in commerce or arts there are different streams there are really good streams they can do fashion designing they can do a lot of things as per their interest as per their passion that's the reason we require career counselor to guide them through the correct path okay so that's that's an answer to your question malika okay so let's move to other question is there any Mm. Okay. So we have a question from from Venkatesh Venki. Is it a classroom or online training? As I told, this is completely an online course, forty hours self paced course. Whenever you have time, you can access the course from your mobile or your laptop or your desktop, and you can pursue the course and you can complete the course within nine months. Six modules from Uni Variety, nine modules from U Selection. Post completion, you get two certificates. So. Okay, so so we have a question from uh, Sangram Singh Rathore. What is the duration of the course, certification course? The course duration is forty hours, but you get nine months to complete the course. Six months for the initial six modules, three months for the rest nine modules. So total you have nine months and forty hours course, self paced. And we have a question from Mr. Bhaskar. So, is there any academic eligi uh, eligibility criteria for opting the to this certification? Actually, the thing is, see, a person who has interest to pursue a career in career in education industry, or a person is passionate about counseling a student or guiding a student, they can pursue this course. They should have a good communication skills. They should they they must be eager to counsel a student, to deal with students and parents. Okay. And to work in education education industry, okay. So, anyone who is interested to work in education space, they can uh, do this certification course. Okay. Let me browse through all other questions. So we have a question from Tripti Kalra. What about a person who is not working as a counselor or teacher? So as I told you that. Uh, people who are not working as a counselor or a teacher if they are how they they are housewives or they are not working they have just just done their graduation or they are looking for a job they can take up this counseling course they can be certified counselors and then they can apply in progressive schools colleges and universities and also they can apply in overseas consultancies as overseas consultants okay and also they can do freelancing from home or they can tie up with schools and universities so there are a lot of options available in market Where you can work, post doing this course because you get that kind of information, that kind of knowledge, and that kind of skill set to pursue your career, okay, and join a good organization. Maybe be it school, university, college, or any organization which needs career counselors, or they can join the overseas consultancies. They can work there. Okay, let's move to the other question. So we have a question from Mr. Amit. can you give job assurance after course completion c we do not give any job assurance we give job assistance like suppose we are working with lot of top schools we are working with pathways we are working with the okrish international we are working with dps ryan international we are working with different big schools in in india and different parts of the country so if we get a requirement from those schools that they need a career counselor so we refer our candidates for interview so we provide assistance not the assurance so assistance is that we refer you to that particular institute or organization for interview and then it's up to you how you utilize your skills to crack that interview okay and if i talk about uh, uh there's another question that do we have any training sessions so what people can do is after post completion of this course they can do kind of a online training so we have our in house counselors so they keep on interacting with students and they do this on chat okay so the person who has done this course they can shadow that particular chat session and then they can know how to do counseling 
how to start with the conversation how to talk to a student how to answer their queries what will be the questions which they can ask a student or a parent okay so they can barge these chats they can look at these chats they can have the conversation and they can know how to do the counseling end to end so we have these kind of sessions and that are available on request so whenever someone needs this kind these kind of sessions they can just email us okay and we will be able to help them out with the chat sessions okay so we have one question from uh, ms tolika which countries can we practice in after this certification course so post doing this certification your certificate is valid globally okay because it is from ucl extension that's a top university your certificate is valid, valid globally and it is valid in each and every country okay so you can work in india you can work in us you can work in uk canada dubai anywhere you want okay you just need to add the same thing in your resume in your profile and you can uh, apply in different universities and they will validate validate the same thing with the university okay so there's a question that can you please elaborate on how to start our freelancing counseling business especially how to get the first call what should be the approach so that's a good question basically so if i talk about what will be your approach so i want to do freelancing freelancing we need we need database we need students and parents so we need to look for groups on facebook with which are into education which talks about education where we can find parents and students we need to post our requirement there that i am the career counselor if anyone looking for career counseling they can get in touch on email or on call or even they can meet personally okay and if you want want to start start up with your own business so what you can do is you can register your organization okay you can have a registered organization you can uh, build your own website you can purchase psychometric test you can buy, buy a white label technology okay and post that you can start with your own center but starting up with a center takes lot of investment that will cost you around 60 to 1 lakh rupees just to start your own center because that needs marketing website psychometric test technology and a an office and a registered organization a registered entity okay and also for freelancing you can do it from your home or you can do it from a uh, school you can tie up with schools and university and colleges which you can do by connecting with different people on linkedin because linkedin is a professional network you can connect with a lot of people from educational space okay so you can talk to them about counseling that you are ready to offer counseling in their school you can send out your proposal on emails or on linkedin and if they are okay with it then they you can you the both the parties can have a tie up and they can sign off an agreement okay and uh, so if i talk about so again we have someone who is asking for the course duration and i guess i have already told about the course duration and i'm uh, i'm involved with kids student in the capital government now so we have um, indrajit pose and an interior architect and i am involved with k12 students in the capacity of a mentor how will this course help me so see you have done the course you you know about k12 system but you are not updated with the information you have done all kind of research but you are not updated there are a lot of things happening in education space every now and then our course is the updated version and also what we have is a weekly update we send out a weekly update on friday to each and every candidate who has enrolled for the course about an update related to education space about related to counseling related to k12 system related to universities colleges about different visa procedures because each and every country so they have different procedure and every year or in two years they change their procedure so they keep on changing their criteria their procedure their eligibility criteria their pointers and all so you need to be updated with the 
you need to be full fledged updated with those that kind of information. That's the reason you need to do this course. You need to have your weekly updates. You need to have your monthly updates, and you need to complete your course in time. And you need to have a updated knowledge about K twelve system. So it is really important for you because you are already uh, engaging with students as a mentor. But are you updated with the information? If you are not, then it it is really important for you because now and then you cannot do Google every time about different updates. Over here, you get updates on your phone every week about education space. This course is updated. It gives you the overall overview about complete K twelve system curriculums and everything. It is really important. Okay. So uh, we have a question from Akash Devan. How much time it takes to complete this course after enrollment? So, as I already told you, it takes it. It completely depends on you because it is a self-paced course. If you want, you can complete the same course within a month or two months' time. It completely depends on you because you need to dedicate your time for this course because this is completely a self-paced course. You can access this any time, whenever you are free. So, if you are dedicating two hours or four hours a day. For this course, you can easily complete this course within one month or one and a half month. So it's totally dependent on you whether you want to complete the course within a month or within nine months. Okay, and so there's a person who is asking uh, about the pricing. So if I talk about the pricing of the course, so it is nineteen thousand seven fifty rupees, and then we have the eighteen percent GST. The price comes to twenty three thousand three zero five rupees. Including taxes, so you need to pay twenty three thousand three zero five for the course and certification, and will be a completely online course. Okay. So we have a query from Ish Ishra Ahmed. Can you please elaborate on different modules which will cover, which will be covered in this course? So there are nine, fifteen modules. Six from uh, six modules talk about the technical aspects about K twelve system, about the different curriculums. Different uh, visa procedures, different uh, universities and colleges, and about the grading system. And then there we have the nine modules, which are more focused towards counselling. How to do counselling? What will be your initial approach towards counselling? How to do behavioural counselling? So we have one module for behavioural counselling in that, and also how to use technologies and techniques and tools to guide a student. So. I hope you are clear that we have 15 modules. Six are the technical ones, and the nine are the nine are more focused towards counselling. So we have a, we have a person who asking how can I enroll myself in the course? So for enrolling for the course, you can visit our website, which is triple w w w w dot global career counselling counsellor dot com. You can go on the website. So we have a pricing page. On the pricing page, on the left hand side, we have The GCC course. Scroll down, click on the Enroll Now button. Fill up your basic details: your name, number, your email ID, your graduation, education, back, educational background. If in case you have any reference, you can mention the references as well. And post you submit the form. You, you are redirected to a payment page where can you make the payment through via credit card or debit card or net banking. Or even you, if you want, you can do the bank transfers as well. So all these options are available. So you need to do the enrollment through our website only, okay, or either by bank transfer. So uh, we have Shiba Nath. Can we attend practical sessions to get hands-on experience? Yes, you can uh, attend practical sessions, but that's only on request. You need to send out an email to us or uh, get in touch with our support team to schedule a practical session. Whichever is available at that moment, okay. Or if in case at that moment we do not have any practical session, so when whenever it is available, we will notify you that we have a practical session and you can attend the same at the particular date and time, okay. So if I talk about so we have is there any grading pattern for this course? So there is a grading pattern with for the assessment because we have uh, assessments after each module. For first six modules, you need to score six five percent in uh, the assessment, and for rest nine modules, you need to score hundred percent in all assessments. Post completion, you get two certificates. So we have a person. Uh, we have uh, 
Nikhil Rai, who is asking what are the benefits of doing this course from university. So I'd, I already told you what are the benefits of doing this course from university because from the major benefit is that you are getting a globally recognized certificate. You are being you are becoming a globally recognized counselor. You can counsel in India and abroad. You are being recognized globally, and your this certificate is valid globally. So that's the major benefit you are getting. You are getting a certificate from UCL Extension. Okay. So we have already spoke about the course fee. Okay, and then. So we have uh, Miss Shelley. Can we pay the fees in installments? So Shelley, for that you need to get in touch with the advisors. They'll help you. They'll provide you the best solution for that. Okay. So you need to get in touch with the advisors and uh, confirm with them with the, regarding the installments or any sp special offers going on. Okay. So. So that's all from my end, uh, been uh, through all the questions as well. So if in case you have any uh, queries or concern, you can uh, email to us at my email ID, which is taran.sharma.univeriti.com or you, either you can mail us on greatguide at univeriti.com. And uh, so we have a question. We have a question. So let me check the last question. We just got a notification that a person has a query. Oh, it's about uh, the enrollment part. So I already told you that for enrollment, you need to visit our website, which is www.globalcareercounselor.com. Pricing, GCC, enroll now, submit your basic information. Then you can pay using a credit card or debit card or net banking, or you can do the IMPS or the bank transfer. Okay, so that's all from my end, folks. I hope uh, you like this session, and uh, you. I hope I have answered all your queries. Okay, so if in case you have any further queries, you can uh, mail us on great guide at university dot com, or you can mail us on tarun dot sharma at university dot com. Uh, we'll be happy to answer your queries as well. Okay, so thanks, thanks for your time. Have a great day ahead. Thank you, thank you, guys.